Okay, you guys, this is a very special recipe that I'm sharing with you today. This is my grandma's special bread that she would make every Christmas morning, and then we just started making it for all of our holidays. So we call this tutu bread. Um, you can use any kind of bread that you want. We just um, happen to like it with the nice thick Texas cut toast. Homemade bread would be amazing in this. You need some butter, some eggs, um, some cheese, and kind of milk. Today I'm going to be using um, oat milk because again, that's what we have. So I'm preparing my pan. I'm buttering my pan. And what I do is I'm just going to lay out my bread. And I'm just going to lay it out. It's nothing fancy. Oh, in fact, I'm actually going to do it this way. I'm laying it. I'm squeezing the pieces in. And then I'm going to crack the eggs. I'm going to whisk in some of my oat milk and cheese. And then I'm going to pour it over the top. Okay, so the next morning, you got to put it in the oven. So I whisked those eggs. Remember, I did the eggs and then I added the milk and the cheese and I poured it over the top. Oh, it's early. And then it like just soaked into the bread all night and you can't even see the, the mixture because it just soaked into the bread. And now I'm going to bake it at 350 until it's um, puffy and golden and delicious. Oh my gosh, it's really early. It smells so good. Oh, it's steaming out of the camera. Okay, do you see it? It's, the camera's steaming. It's like so bubbly and good and I think it's ready. It's ready. So here we go. This is Choo Bread, named for my grandma, Jane Watts. It's delicious, it's fluffy, it's eggy, it's cheesy, and it is an awesome treat at any time, especially during quarantine. See you next time.